Well, what a day we had yesterday, right? Below average temperatures once again, some sleet, some snow, some rain, all of that jazz. We had high temperatures of 39 degrees into Green Bay, 44 into Apaca and Oshkosh, and 47 into Sheboygan. But still below average here for us. Northwoods, you picked up a few inches of snowfall. Antigo coming in at three inches. Tigerton just shy of that. I mean, even Hobart, two inches of snowfall yesterday. We're in the month of April, and now we're battling dense fog right now because of that moisture and calm winds. So Door County and Sheboygan County in a dense fog advisory until 9 o'clock this morning. Visibility down to a quarter of a mile for a majority of it, down to zero at times. Also battling the fog into Pembine, Antigo, and Appleton as well. So give yourself extra time. Make sure those low beams are turned on. Winds are very light and calm and variable. We'll see this fog start to burn off by 9 to 10 o'clock this morning, and then those winds start to get very breezy after 10 a.m. We're going to see them gusting up to about 25 miles per hour out of the southeast. It's going to pull in some warmer temperatures here for us today. You can already see it getting warm down to the south into the low 40s into Chicago, mid 40s into Rapid City. You can see those greens kind of spiking through the Midwest there into the Dakotas. Yeah, about 10 to 20 degrees warmer for them. That is out ahead of the next system headed our way. So we take a look outside 30 degrees into Appleton right now. Here's a look at Green Bay sunrise at 626 this morning. We are all sitting right around that freezing mark. It's crisp. It's cool out there. 32 degrees into Oconto, 33 into Kiwani this morning, 38 at Fond du Lac. Overcast, cloudy skies. Not a very pretty day for us, unfortunately, but a little bit better than down to the south. Tornado wild watches and a moderate risk down there as well as they continue to go through their afternoon. So here for us where our eyes are turned off to the west, we're looking at this system building in some snow and rain into central Minnesota. That system is going to slowly build and stall out right on the edge of Minnesota and Wisconsin. As it does so, it's going to send waves of moisture, some intense bands of rain. We're going to start to see the sprinkles arriving here this evening after 7 p.m. Then some heavy downpours after 10 p.m. overnight we could hear some claps of thunder by tomorrow morning. The rain should start to wind down and we'll get a little break here for the midday. Then some scattered sprinkles and some more showers build in because look at that system. It just sits there and spins and continues to send us rain. So this is Wednesday afternoon, some scattered showers and then by Thursday morning to Thursday afternoon, scattered snow showers possible and that snow chance lingers even into Friday morning. So in terms of rainfall, we're looking at about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch. If we get an inch of rain, we could see some flooding out there, but hopefully it'll switch over to some snowfall. We're looking at about a trace to an inch of snowfall by the time this week is said and done. So highs today, cloudy skies into those low to mid 40s. Winds starting to get breezy, especially by tonight. Low temperatures into the mid 30s to low 40s out there. Pretty mild overnight, which is going to warm us up by tomorrow into those mid to upper 40s to even some low 50s out there with some spotty rain showers still ongoing. A little bit of sunshine could peek through on occasion, but the rain returns Thursday turns into some snowfall as well, especially as we push into Friday morning and then a beautiful weekend ahead. Look at that. It gets warmer and warmer every single day near 60 degrees potentially by Monday and we could get even warmer than that next week. So that's what I'm wishing for. Yes, Brittany. Thank you. You're welcome.